43 Keyshawn Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Sturdy and Friendly The Keyshawn is a medium-sized Spitz dog that stands between 17 and 19 inches in height with some variation and weighs from 30 to 40 pounds. Number 2. The expression of the Keyshawn is mainly influenced by a unique feature known as spectacles, which consists of specific markings and shadings in the area around the eyes. The head is in good proportion to the body and has a wet shape when seen from above. Number 3. Their eyes are medium-sized, almond-shaped, set at a slight angle with dark brown color along with black eye rims. They are not too widely spaced apart or too close together. Number 4. Sporting their petite and distinctly triangular ears, these charismatic dogs are sure to attract onlookers. These endearing ears gracefully perch high atop their heads, standing resolutely erect. Number 5. The Keyshawn's snout is not too long or too stubby. It's just right, fitting well with the shape of their head. The teeth are in good order with no overbite or underbite and the lips are black and close together. Number 6. The neck is just the right length, well shaped and sits nicely on the shoulders. The body is compact, featuring a short straight back that gently slopes toward the hind quarters. Number 7. This breed rocks a moderately long tail that sits up high and curls over the back, snuggling close to the body like a part of a stylish hug. Number 8. The Keishand has a distinct gait that sets them apart from most other dog breeds. These dogs move confidently with their tails curled over their backs. Their movement is smooth and brisk, characterized by a straight and well-defined stride. Number 9. Similar to many Spitz-type dogs, the Keishan boasts a dense double coat, featuring a thick ruff of fur around the neck. The body should be generously covered with long, straight, coarse hair that stands out from a plush, downy undercoat. Number 10. The Keishan's coloring comprises a blend of gray, black, and cream, which can range from light to dark. Their undercoats are typically pale gray or cream. The outer coat's hair has black tips, and the length of these black tips creates the characteristic shading of the color. Number 11. According to the AKC, Keishans are often referred to as the Smiling Dutchman due to their habit of curling their lip and displaying their teeth in a kind of grin. This expression is not an aggressive snarl but rather a sign of happiness and submission. Number 12. Keishans are typically a robust breed with an average lifespan ranging from 12 to 15 years. However, like any other breed, they can be prone to a few specific health issues. Number 13. While congenital health problems are not widespread in Keishans, one condition that can sometimes affect them is hip dysplasia that can result in symptoms such as weakness, lameness, or hip pain due to malformation in the hip joints. Number 14. Another health concern in Keishans is luxating patellas, a condition that is more prevalent in small dogs. It is identified by the kneecap moving in and out of its usual position. Number 15. Keishans may also be at risk for other health problems, including conditions like epilepsy, Cushing's disease, diabetes, and primary hyperparathyroidism. Number 16. Alongside these concerns, Keishans should also be monitored for renal cortical hypoplasia and mitral valve disease, as these are some of the major health issues in the breed. Number 17. In addition to the major health concerns, there are also minor health issues to watch out for in Keishans, which may include skin problems and congenital heart defects. Number 18. The Keishan is regarded as the national dog of the Netherlands. This breed has historical and cultural significance in the country, and they're sometimes referred to as the Dutch barge dog or the Dutch Keishan. Number 19. The English Breed Club recognizes these dogs as Keishanden. However, in various parts of the world, they go by different names such as Wolf Spitz in Germany, Chien Lu in France, and Lupini in Italy. Number 20. The Keishan got their name from the 18th century Dutch patriot Cornelis Kide Geisele, who was a prominent leader in the rebellion against the House of Orange. Number 21. The term Keishan is a compound word where Kies is a nickname for Cornelis and Hand is the Dutch word for dog. In the Netherlands, Keishan is a term used for German Spitzes, which includes various types of the toy breeds like the Pomeranian to the Wolf Spitz. Number 22. The Keishan's origin has sparked debates, with many English references attributing to their development to the Netherlands. However, the FCI suggests that the breed is a part of the German Spitz family and traces its roots to Germany, alongside other breeds like the Pomeranian and the American Eskimo Dog. Number 23. The first standard for the Keishan was introduced at the dog show in 1880 in Berlin. Subsequently, the Club of German Spitzes was established in 1899. The German standard was updated in 1901 to define the distinctive coloration we now recognize as silver-gray tipped with black. 
Number 24. In the late 19th century, a dog known as the overweight Pomeranian, which was possibly a Caishant, was exhibited in the British Kennel Club. However, the overweight Pomeranian lost recognition by the British Kennel Club in 1915. Number 25. During the 1920s, Baroness Van Hardenbroek became interested in the breed and initiated efforts to revive it. This led to the establishment of the Netherlands Kishant Club in 1924. Number 26. In 1925, the Dutch Barge Dog Club of England was founded by Mrs. Wingfield Digby and officially recognized by the British Kennel Club in 1926. At the time, both the breed and the club were renamed to Kishant. Number 27. Karl Hinderer established the Schloss Adelsburg Kennel in Germany in 1922 and brought it with him to the United States in 1923. His Kishan dogs followed him, arriving in Pierce in 1926. Number 28. Karl Hinderer was persistent in his efforts to promote the Kishan in the United States. During his visit, he introduced Wachter, his German champion Kishand, to the AKC president, Dr. Diemand. Dr. Diemand agreed to initiate the recognition process for the breed with some conditions, one of which was changing the name from Will Spitz to Kishand. Number 29. The Kishand was officially recognized as a breed by the American Kennel Club in 1930. Six years later, in 1936, these dogs also received recognition from the United Kennel Club. Number 30. In 1997, the German Spitz Club made an important update to its standard, allowing for the inclusion of the typically smaller Kishand preferred in America and other English-speaking countries. This significant change broadened the gene pool and established a unified standard for the breed internationally. Number 31. One fun fact about these dogs is that in order to stay comfortable in varying weather conditions, these dogs will dig a hole in the ground. This provides them with a cooler spot during the summer and a warmer refuge in the winter. Number 32. The Kishan is considered a Velcro breed due to their strong attachment to their families. They are highly devoted and they enjoy being in close proximity to their loved ones. Number 33. This breed ranks 16th on Stanley Korn's list of dog intelligence. They are often considered excellent working dogs as they can usually grasp new instructions after 5 to 15 repetitions, demonstrating strong obedience by following commands 85% of the time or more. Number 34. Kishans have litters ranging from 3 to 8 puppies, which can be considered a medium-sized litter. According to the American Kennel Club, female dogs can have puppies once a year between the ages of 1 and 8. Number 35. The typical cost of a Kishant puppy falls in the range of $1,500 to $2,000. The price can vary based on factors such as their pedigree and the geographic location of the breeder. Number 36. Kishans were robust and agile barge dog that served as both a guard and a companion on Dutch vessels, particularly those that navigated the man-made waterways of the Low Countries. Number 37. In addition to their other duties on barges, the Kishan played a less evident role as a foghorn. Positioned at the front of the barge, they would bark as soon as they spotted another barge approaching through the fog. Number 38. Kishans have a natural ability to provide comfort and support those who are unwell or feeling down. These cheerful and fluffy dogs even played a role in assisting workers in coping with the tragic events of 9-11. Number 39. As of now, the American Kennel Club ranks the Kishand as the 92nd most popular dog breed in the United States. Number 40. Fossils from the Stone Age provide evidence that Spitz-type dogs resembling today's Kishand coexisted with early humans as far back as 5000 BC. These dogs are also depicted in various ancient artifacts, including images on ancient Greek wine jugs and the Great Seal of Amsterdam. Number 41. Clancy, a Kishand, displayed his abilities as a flying fluff ball by learning the sport of dog diving on a lake in Michigan. He achieved a remarkable record jump, earning him the distinction of being the first AKC dog diving titled Kishand in the breed's history. Number 42. Kishans are considered a rare breed, which makes them infrequently seen in movies and TV series. However, in the 2002 film Snow Dogs, a Kishand made a brief cameo appearance. Number 43. Although the Kishand is not commonly found outside the Netherlands, this breed has had some notable celebrity owners, including Walt Disney, the Irish poet W.B. Yeats, and Princess Diana. Alright guys, now which of these Kishand facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.